Well, if you thought that the story about the bizarre rant of house stenographer Diane Reedy last week during the end of the debt ceiling vote couldn't get any more bizarre, then you'd be wrong. First of all, the actual words that Reedy said when she walked up to the speaker's platform have not been broadcast by the mainstream media. First, take a look at how it was reported on Fox News. Okay, so that obviously made it appear as if Reedy was saying those words as she was up there at the speaker's podium. And MSN also reported, as did numerous other mainstream news outlets, that Reedy made her way to the podium and began yelling those words. As Florida Rep Ross Leetonen banged the gavel and tried to restore order, Reedy continued with the quote, as well as, the Constitution would not have been written by Freemasons. So both television news reports and online mainstream news reports said that Reedy was saying these words, this quote about Freemasons writing the Constitution, when she was up at the Speaker's platform, as the uh, representative Ross Leeton and was banging the gavel. So they made it clear that she was saying these words as she was in front of the microphone at the Speaker's podium. Except that she wasn't. Because as you can see from this video, those words were actually spoken after they had already dragged Reedy away and were in a separate part of the building near the elevator. If this is not one nation under God, it never was. Had it been, it would not have been. No. It would not have been. So why were television networks and mainstream news networks reporting that Reedy had said those comments when she was up at the speaker's podium on the house floor? when in fact she said them after she had been dragged away and was in a different part of the building. And of course, more importantly, what were the words that Reedy actually spoke when she walked up to the speaker's platform and began this bizarre rant? Because the words you just heard were from when she was near an elevator in a different part of the building. What she actually said here, we've got no idea because the mainstream news media has not reported it and has in said fact that the words said in the other part of the building were what Reedy said here. But as you can see, that's not the case. But if you think that's weird, then wait until what's coming up next. Because Reedy told Chad Pergram, a Fox News reporter, that, quote, the Holy Spirit has been waking me up in the middle of the night to deliver a message in the house chamber. So, whether you believe that's God or somebody else, she's saying that she's been put up to this by a third party. Now just watch this. You can see Reedy here with her stenographer equipment and she's having a conversation with this guy but also she seems to be engaged in a conversation with this guy with the white hair and it all seems very friendly and civil and polite and perfectly normal until the guy with the white hair appears to give her some kind of nod and then she instantly goes into this trance-like state, which was reported by some of the other House members that gave comments to the media on this. And then she walks up to the podium and starts giving her rant. But just watch as she seems to be engaged in a normal happy conversation with this guy on the right, but specifically this guy with the white hair. He appears to give her a nod, and immediately she changes her demeanour and starts the walk up to the podium to give her rant. Let's take a look. And by the way, this was first picked up by truthstreammedia.com, so let's take a look at the clip. Okay, so we're going to zoom in on this in a second from the original Truthstream Media video. There you see Reedy's 
engaged in a conversation with the white haired guy. Here's the clip. Seems perfectly happy, seems to be smiling, having a casual conversation. Watch the guy with the white hair. He walks up to her. She looks at him. Seems to be normal. Normal conversation. Right there, he gives her a nod. Suddenly, she gets up in this bizarre trance-like calm state, walks up to the podium, and begins to give her rent. Then the white-haired guy you can see here immediately goes to his cell phone and appears to be sending a text to someone as Reedy began, begins her rent in the background. He's not looking at it, even though everybody else is, at least for now. Seems like he's expecting it. Finally, he looks up. And then she continues with her aunt. Watch it again. Here she is in conversation with him. Seems happy, normal conversation. Gives her a nod. Immediately she gets up. Seems to be in a calm, trance-like state. And you'll notice the black guy who watches her walking past. It immediately catches his notice that she seems to be in a bizarre, trance-like state. The white-haired guy goes to send a text. Reedy begins her rant absolutely bizarre let's watch it one more time notice this guy's reaction this guy sitting here as soon as she gets up he looks at her as if you know what on earth is going on with her because the whole demeanor appears to shift into this trans like mind control state after getting the nod from the white haired guy who immediately goes to send a text message as she makes the walk up to the podium let's watch it one more time Zooming in again from the original Truth Stream media clip. So the white haired guy in a second approaches her. There he is. Gives her a nod. There. Immediately she gets up. Watch the guy's reaction, the black guy. He's looking at her like, what on earth? Takes another look at her. Obviously odd behavior. The white haired guy immediately goes to send a text message on his phone as Reedy begins her rant. It really is bizarre, isn't it? Especially when you remember the, the media didn't even play the speech she was giving at this point. They played something she said later on after they dragged her away. And then the actions of this guy immediately going to his cell phone after he gave her a nod. She goes into a trance like state walks up begins the speech completely bizarre again it might just be innocent it might just be a huge coincidence that this guy appears to have some kind of influence over her again he might have nothing to do with it it might just have been her deciding to do the speech at that time but her whole demeanor seems to shift and it brings to mind the documented examples of mk ultra where they used either keyword triggers or keyword symbols like in the case of sirhan sirhan the polka dot dress to trigger the mind control behavior. So are we seeing an example of mind control caught on camera with this b bizarre Diane Reedy speech? It's certainly weird. It's certainly very strange. You know, I'm normally not into crisis actors and all these shenanigans surrounding these kind of events, but this one is pretty bizarre, even for the skeptics out there. It's very, very strange. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Check us out at Prison Planet Twitter, which is twitter.com slash prison planet or twitter.com slash real Alex Jones. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.